2006, the very first race of the International GT Open, was at this very circuit and Monza. On that day, it was a Dodge Viper that took victory. Which car is going to take the win today on what is the 15th edition of the championship? Is it going to be our championship leaders, Matteo Martin Motorsport McLaren? How about the Ferrari with Vincent Abreu and Louis Pret, or the likes of the Aston Martin? which has just won the 24 hour of Le Mans. And we've got the returning Bentley as well. Four different cars there, all very capable of winning. It's gonna be a fantastic race. Go. Well, let's have a look back at the highlights then. It was Yannick Mettler after the first pole position for Team Lazarus. They led the way down towards turn number one. The Optima Motorsport car in the green and black colours there going up to second. Joe Osborne, there was a little bit of contact there with the TF Sport car running in to the side of one of the AF course cars, but everyone just about made it through. Unfortunately, the Bentley you see ahead, Stefano Coletti would once again have to come into the pits and retire for the race. This was the battle for the lead in GT Cup Open Europe. That was the moment that Alder Vestante took the lead, and from there he would go on to win on home soil. This was brilliant move with uh, Angelo Negro being passed by Vetsone on their first race, a return for RS Racing. Then we had the pit stops and after that it turned into one of the best battles we have seen. This was out of Estante making his pit stop but out front no one could keep up with Fabrizio Crestani. He would go on to increase his gap to 30 seconds as the rest of the pit stops improved. We have the light server Enrique Chavez making his way through. This was Brendan Ivory trying to hold off three cars in the bright red colours there. That was Charlie Eastwood making three places in about three corners. That the last of them to go up and take the fight to the top three, eventually going on to finish in second place. Brilliant scenes behind us. Nick Moss got his way back past uh, Enrique Chavez. He would go on to hold off Enrique all the way to the flag as traffic came into play. This was the moment that uh, Chavez made a mistake into Parabolica. Charlie Eastwood going through, but out front, it's the first time we've seen a Bentley on the top step. Team Lazarus winning on home soil and a win likewise for Fabrizio Crestani on home soil and a run to the line. Charlie Eastwood just about pipping Nick Moss, who was carrying a one second penalty. Uh, got a little hit at the start into turn one, but other than that, all smooth and uh, Fabri brought it home. Yeah. Great day for the team and for everybody, for us. Fabrizio to win here at Monza, of course, it's uh, the best place. Yeah, it's a feeling I cannot describe and also for the team, you know. Uh, we started a new project this year with the Bentley, you know, a new car and so on. Uh, due to the Covid situation, we didn't have any testing. So actually we went in Budapest taking the race as a free practice, you know, and then uh, we improved a lot. We worked a lot, not only on track, but also at home. And uh, yeah, yesterday everything was looking good. Yannick did a mega job today. It was a magic lap, pole position, pulling away. I just cruised my way to the finish line and that's, I'm so happy, yeah, speechless. that started around 60 minutes ago and here is how it got underway. Three wide going down towards the first corner. This on board with Stefan Ortelli as he tried to make his way through. Uh, Enrique Chavez starting at the front there. We had the Bentley run over the curb. Likewise, Christian Klein with nowhere to go, but everyone just about made it through safely otherwise. Battling for the lead, the RS Racing Cars was one of the stars of the show and start the number 25 with Daniele Diamato fighting his way through from the back end of the top 10 to get up the field. Uh, Alexei Nezov was another there in the green and white Mercedes, the AM driver fighting with Christian Klein. Halfway through, then we had the pit stops as ever. There was our race leaders going in. When they come in, the number 16 took over the race lead. Out of Estante was leading in GT Cup Open Europe when he came in. When we resumed, it was Miguel Ramos leading the way as our Pro-Am leaders came in. This was the moment that Charlie Eastwood would hand over to Sally Ulick. Fighting continued, though, in the second half of the race, eventful as it always is. Unfortunately, Sally Ulick, though, very short into his stint, would be tagged round by Bar Barrage. And then we had the barriers exploded, and that would bring out the safety car. When we got going, the number 59 versus the 17 was the story of the race. Yannick Mettler was trying his best to hold off the rest of the field. Angelo Negro there locking up the tyres. But this was the move that won the race. Vincent Abreu diving down the inside, just about getting the car stopped and on the exit, asserting his place in the lead. And he'd go on to take the win for AF Corsa on home soil.
Definitely not an easy weekend for us. We've been uh, very slow on pace. I mean, uh, in, in practice, in qualifying, we were really, really far and we managed as a team to, to stay focused and we knew that a result could come uh, today. So, I mean, Vince did such an amazing job in today's race. He, he really did the job, so I mean, uh, thanks to him and uh, we're still in, the, in, in for the championship and we'll see what we can do uh, in the two next races. Vincent, the safety car helped a bit, but still, you had uh, one car to pass. Yeah, and not an easy one. I mean, as the championship leaders, uh, we know that it was going to be a fight. He gave me a run for my money. I didn't expect less, but uh, it was tough a few times. We touched a bit uh, here and there, but always uh, fair. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's the best thing. Thank you to A, of course. Thanks to Ferrari for giving us such a good car. And uh, yeah, as Louis touched upon, we had a difficult weekend on pace. We were definitely not there, but we managed as a team to stay focused and executed at a high level. So I'm very happy for all the team that stayed uh, focused today.